I've managed to get down the allotment today, so I thought I'd run through my solar powered irrigation system. I've got set up in my greenhouse here. I'm starting building this um, this year. I weren't really too fast if it was built this year or next year, but luckily enough, I've managed to get most of it done this year. Still a few bits of polycarbonate to go on um, the side just there and on the roof. And I've also got to get a few bit more support trims just to kind of run along there. That's minor, I can get that done. Oh my god, I locked the door. Oh, oh. Oh. Right, <coughs> Pardon me. So this is the greenhouse. Like I said, I've still got a few bits to get done here. Things are growing. I'm happy with it all. Right, so solar panel. <coughs> what I've got here is a twenty-five watt, twelve volt, I think it's a mono crystalline um, solar panel. Um, there's two types that you can get, a polycrystalline and a monocrystalline. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I think the monocrystalline is the better of the two. Um, uh, don't quote me on that, I've bought this a while back now, so I can't quite remember. Um, but just go on Google, have a look, uh, have a little search around. If you do intend to get a solar panel, just have a little Google on it, so you know you're getting the best one. Um, I don't know if you can see the specs through the roof sheet there, but that's basically your solar panel. I think that's £30 from eBay. Or was it Amazon? No, I think I bought that from eBay, but like I say, just have a search round. They are cheap enough nowadays. Um, and obviously that draws the power in. And then what that does is it runs into what's called a solar charge controller. This is basically like your computer system. Um, it's basic, but it does the job. It's what regulates the power coming in and the load going out. And it's got like um, two USB ports so you can charge your phone or your iPad or whatever. Um, and then obviously the battery. Um, no, so the solar panel that runs into here. And then obviously regulates it, it stops the battery from overcharging or anything like that. Um, got built in timers and fuses and that I believe. Um, it's obviously, that's the battery. Can you see that? So that's your battery input. So this here is my battery line. And it runs into my two little batteries here that I've got connected together um, temporarily. I do intend to sit in there somewhere once I've boarded all this, but as I said, I'm still working on it all. Um, and then this is your load output so anything you want to run um any like at the moment i'm just only running my 12 volt timer um but behind the back of all this i've i've kind of connected it all up so that it runs into connector blocks so that then that way i can loop it over so that each connector block i can draw another power line out of it if that makes sense so in the future what i do intend to do is um this here was a, a 12 volt in car fan system that you're going to just sat on your dashboard and it um and it was two fans that sat here and here but i took it all apart um because what i do intend to do is basically this is gonna um suck i'm gonna have two fans up there that are gonna suck or exhaust hot, the hot air and then i will have another two fans once i finally buy it um buy them get around to buying them that will Draw in cool air, so hopefully I'll have like a loop, or it will kind of feed cool air in and then exhaust the hot air out. Um, the two little fans that come with the car system, the car fan system, they are quite powerful. Um, that was, I think, twelve pound from Amazon. 
Um, but then once I get the next one, I will replace this because, as you can see, what I what I do intend to do is once I've taken out the two fans, and um, what I can do is put um, switch uh, twelve volt switches in here, um, like the ones you get in your car. So I'll have two switches, but I've, I've done that and I kind of rushed it a little bit, which I I do plan to change in the future. But for now, what I'll do my twelve volt time will just sit there. Um, it's a bit shitty, but I will change all. Um, so where was I? Yeah, so this is your 12 volt timer. This is um, got 16 settings on it, so basically you can set it for 16 times a day if you want to. At the moment, I've just only I've only got it set up um, just while I'm trying it out for, for three times a day. Um, so it goes on at four in the morning. Um, 404 and then it goes off three minutes later at 407 I'm oh, sorry I'm holding the camera oh, um, and then my next time it goes on is at uh, 8 at night 2 minutes past 8 and then 4 minutes later at 6 minutes past and then the final one it goes on at uh, 1 in the afternoon and then 3 minutes later at uh, 105 um, I will change all this um, but at the moment I was just setting it up, so it's no biggie. As you can see, I, if I wanted to, I could set it up a lot more times. That does it for me, 16, yeah, 16 times. Um, so let me turn that on, that's off. So that's on now. So with these, it is um, a bit of a pain, because what I found, and I didn't actually even think of it, is that at the more um, valves you add, obviously the less pressure you've got. So uh, when I set it all up originally, um, all was fine. I then went through, I added a few more valves um, to like my cucumber plant there and to my wilt in um, chilies that I've got. Um, but obviously the, pra the pressure drops, so then the drips they lose their drip, if that makes sense. So it is a bit of a um, thing to get your head round. But um, I'm still now in the process of adding more into it. I've got a couple more um, things that I want to get in, mainly over there. So once I have got it all set up, uh, all it will take is just maybe a day of going around, checking the uh, valves and making sure everything's watered. But even now, um, even though I've not set it up properly, as you can see, I've, I've genuinely only had to come in here a couple of times with the watering can and as you can see it is it is definitely useful if you need to go away for a couple of weeks at a time or whatever it definitely definitely does work and I hope that over the next couple of years obviously I'll just get my head around it more and it's just one of the things that you improve on it's like now I can see that these are wilting um, and I just need to make sure that I've add, added the valves properly do you know what I mean? So it's just one of the things that you kind of get your head around. A lot of what I've learned has come from YouTube anyway. Let me turn that off. Because it is a bit noisy. It is actually quite noisy. Because I did go with a 12 volt submersible. But they just don't seem to have enough welly. So I've just had to go with a different one. It's just a bit louder. But to be honest with you, um, I'm not here at 4 in the morning. I'm not here at 8 in the evening. Well, I don't know if you lot can see that. My mouth's all right. There's his tail. Oh, you bastard, my mouth. Anyway, so this is the water side of it. Again, this is just a temporary setup. Two of these water butts were here when I took the plot on a couple of years ago. And I just added another one just to make sure I've got enough water constantly. Um, but I do intend to change all this, so I'll replace these three with a massive, um, I think they're called ICB tanks. Um, you see them on building sites quite a lot, and they've got the capacity to hold like like loads of, loads of water. So when that, when that arrives, I will resort all this, but for now, this is what I've got. <coughs> Let me get down here. Um, this... See that? Yeah, it's just um, it's to be honest, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade this anyway because it's um, 35 p 
PSI 2.4 bar. Um, and I'm, what I'm starting to find is obviously as I'm adding more valves to my system, to the irrigation system, I'm losing pressure. And I just don't think this is cutting it now. It was right at first when I'd um, first added, when I first got it and only had a few things in. But as I'm starting to add more, I think I'm, I'm definitely going to have to upgrade this. But that's just something I'll have to throw out in the future, maybe next year. Um, this year is just a connector, waterproof connector block. Well, connector box, something that I can just put the lid on. It just makes it easy to sort it out. I don't know how we'll kind of set it up there, but for now, it just dangles there. Um, this is obviously your the, the pipe of the, that runs the irrigation system. Got a quick release lock on it. This comes with the irrigation system that I bought from Amazon or eBay again. <laughs> I think it's about seven pound. Comes with all the valves and all the piping and everything. And obviously that then just sucks the water. That's this is on constantly. So then it just sucks the water when it needs to, when it turns on, and it just runs it. Like I say, I'm not an expert, I'm still kind of trial, like running by trial and error. I'm just watching YouTube videos and whatnot. But I hope this helped me. All the best.